Hello everyone, hello, my name is Vandar, I'm a wizard, let's begin, we'll be back with Minoria, part the second. And, we're going to pick the slot two where we saved, and we're going to load the file. Right, so, what happened the last time in Minoria, where we started it, and uh, we got a lot of progress made. Uh, we came to the garden, uh, we were led here by Pin, uh, who has sadly got some bad news. The hidden passage I told you about isn't far from here. It's just ahead. But there's something strange about it. Oh. Do go on. <laughs> uh, I believe he's talking about the crystals that are in the way. So we broke like a egg or something. And it, it dissipated the mist. But there's still crystals in the way. But we have loads of places to go. Let's save. For no particular reason. And we'll go uh, down here first. Can't go through there, it's locked. We'll jump down here. Slap that man, silly. Uh, loads of fellows down there. I'm going to turn down my game music on my end. It's a little loud. Right. I managed to parry, but got hit anyway. Could have gone worse though, so I think all in all it came out pretty well. Oh. Almost got wrecked by the man with the shodel. I'm gonna heal up the fool there. Uh, more ghost girls. Uh, something happened there. <laughs> I parried while whilst falling, so that that's good. Fred dust our way over here. Okay. He missed entirely. It's good for us. I, I, I didn't know if you could parry the ghost girls uh, the last time, so I was being overly cautious. Uh, evidently you can, which is good, uh, because they're very easy to parry. I hate beating a dead horse and bringing up Nobetta again, but in Nobetta it was unclear what you could parry and what you couldn't, and in this game it's much more clear. And if you can't parry it fully, it al at least allows you to... Uh, wait, uh, something killed me, I'm not really sure what. It at least allows you to block and defend yourself. Uh, well, let's just not fight these guys. Let's just row through here and... Out of the way, you fool. We've got some incense. Uh, can you die again? Uh. I'm not getting a lot of feedback here. Alright, okay, okay. We've stabilised, we've got incense. Let's check it out. It was very dangerous. Foul incense. Fully restores HP but curses the user. I'm not really quite sure what curse does in this game. I think what it does is it either reduces your attack values or it makes you take more damage or something. It's still probably worth it to use. Although, saying that, with the healing... Uh, I'm at least able to... Okay. Get some invincibility frames out of it. Out of the deal. Whereas with foul incense, I don't have that luxury. Go over here. We can see the effects of the uh, incense I bought the last time that regenerates my health slowly over time. Getting about 7 HP back. Right, so what is our goal? Uh, we met uh, Ormu. Uh, she's a, a worm thing. It's kind of tough for her right now. She's in a bad spot. 
Uh, and she needs something to keep her warm. So if I could find something like that, that would be great. Otherwise, we're trying to make it into the castle. Uh, we're outside of it at the moment. Where are we? Okay, just down here. Oh. Yes, the door has been unlocked, hasn't it? Uh, any secret walls? No? Good. All right. Have to bounce on the rubbery shrubbery. Ormu is in the top right corner of the map up there. I can't point to it, but she's over there. Uh, it looks like we didn't go down the right-hand path, but we also didn't go through this um, path over here. I can get my fat ass up here. There we go. Bounce on the shrubbery. This is an extremely quiet game. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. It's a very quiet game. It's very sedate. Like I said, I had questions originally about playing it. But then I played it on my own. And I enjoyed it. So I decided to play it here. But Much like no better, sometimes there's just not a lot to say. I've got an archive. We'll read those at the end of the, end of the video. Uh, why can't we go down here? Save the game. Uh, why can't we go down the shaft here? What was the problem? I don't know what that does. I, I assume it, like, hurts me. Get down here as fast as possible. Oh, we got cursed. Oh, is that her slide down animation? It's very Dark Soulsian. I like it. That's very cute. Uh, oh, we couldn't go through the door. Okay. Understood. Very well. Ow. Ran into that man. Ran into him again. Oh, that's fine. I wanted to go back the other way anyway. So that's, that's good that that happened. So nothing's down that way. Um, and... Why couldn't we go across? We're going to assume because it's locked. I'm going to just assume that it's locked. Uh, we need to be in the garden area, the garden center. Oop. I rode through him. That was alright. I was going to parry him. I didn't. We can kill this man. Man, knight, creature. I'm not really sure what it is. Oop. Missed the jump. Just keep rolling. Uh, let's see here. I think we need to... Uh, I guess just explore down here some more. Okay, we can't go that way. Right, 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 right. Right, let's try not to get our socks rocked here. Okay, that went much better. The parry is so good. Okay, down once more. Another thing that is good about the parry that is not good about the parry and no better. Another coin? Alright. Uh, I'd like to get over there. How do I do that? can't because it's blocked the other way. One of the things about this game's parry that's better than Nobetta's parry is that this is a two-dimensional game. And as such, it's easy to know when you need to parry. Whereas Nobetta's a three-dimensional game. And what's more, it's behind the shoulder. So... Oh, oh, parry spammed, but it didn't work. locked. Uh, it's behind the shoulder, which makes it extremely difficult to know when you need to parry and when you are within range of an enemy attack. That's what I was trying to say. Go over here. 
Alright, we can double back. Damn. That does a lot of damage. Ow. That does a lot of damage. Need you to stop existing, sir. It's very inconvenient. Okay. So we're going to go up here. And... Sheesh. And we can unlock the door. Get a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, or we could go to the right over there. Okay, we need to have a, a key of some sort. I thought it was one of those lever activated doors, it's not. I gotta get out of that immediately. Ow. Uh. There we go. Man, they do a lot of damage. I will say the game is very unforgiving. Uh, we need to find a way to get past the mist, yes, of course. Miss Anna Fran. Can't go there, it's locked. Uh, we need, we really need that key. <laughs> that purple key really would come in handy. Basic enemies, I'm not really afraid of them. Oh, that probably is just it. <laughs> is that it? Do I have the key now? It is very good. I have to say, one of the things that Dangan, uh, these developers, always get right is their games feel good to play. They have really good movement and, and sense of movement. Oh, I need to get out of that area immediately before I die. But I want to destroy that flower. Get a little bit of XP. Uh, that looks like progress. I don't want to go that way. It oh. oh. gave me the parry anyway. Extremely liberal parries. New area. Let's go back a bit. You do end up sort of like spamming parry, like like it's Sekiro. What's going on here? Sister Olivia, patron saint of Remesia. Okay. Can I climb up on here? No. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. And then we're back here. And we could go down. And over here. So we've got the royal key. Oops. Out of the way, sir. Oh, no. Oh, feck me. Oh god, where am I? Where am I going to be put? So, one of the problems here... Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Sometimes you just keep going in this game, and then you die unexpectedly, like an idiot, like I just did, and you're put so far back that it's, it's very crippling. Okay, there's that. Now I have to kill you. Alright, there we go. Okay, no, no, it's over there. I fell down in front of this man before. So I have to go over here. Don't get away from that thing. Over here. Uh, let's switch to, like, the white incense. There we go. He's a bit tricky to engage with. Uh, and then went over here. And then up here. Too far, because I can't go that way. I have to get the key first. I don't believe I keep the key. 
I think because I died, I... I don't get to keep the key. Uh, it's heal. I believe the key is over here, by these witches. Okay. It doesn't keep your items, so you do need to get those things. I still have the uh, incense, right? I still have foul incense, yes. Very good. Alright. So we'll walk back up here. Um... What I'll do is I'll just go over here right quick, like. And open the door. And save. That's what I should have done before, but I didn't. I got cocky. And... I can roll my way over here. I guess I can deal with these things. Uh, watch out for the Shotelman. There we go. Shotelman watched out for. Uh, nothing over here. Alright. Very well. Uh, I was going to go up. Open this door. Roll my way over here. Right, okay. So we're mostly back to where we were before. No secret walls. Oh, secret wall! Silver coin, great! It's good that I died. Dying is great. Uh, we want to go over this side because over on the other side is the eggs. Uh, I didn't go this way. I thought it was going to be a boss. <laughs> We go. Okay. The garden which is mist has diminished. Okay. So perhaps it was just that um, the crystals are the mist. And there's so much mist it's crystallized. I guess that's what it's trying to infer. Ow. Mist. There we go. There we go. Okay. We went over there. We went over there. Uh, we didn't go down this way, so we shall. Very good. Yeah, those ghosts are no threat at all anymore. Now that I know that I can just parry it. Um, yeah, we just can't get enough air. <clears throat> we can't get enough air to get up there. Hold on. One moment, please. I'm sorry. I've run out of water, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Did not take damage there. That's good. Gave me the parry. It's also good. Uh, we could go down. Uh, can we go up? I don't think we can. No, I don't think we can. But we didn't go down all the way. Uh, I shall save over here. Grand. We'll open this. Save. Go over here. Oh no, a boss fight. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. Okay, that wasn't too frightening. I mean, maybe a little. Huh? 
Thank you. Ah, I see. I understand what's going on here. Took way too much damage there. Okay, I understand. I'm glad I saved because I would have been very mad otherwise. Very Sekiro-like, very, very Sekiro-like, uh, where you're just backed into a corner and you're constantly parrying. It's very Sekiro-ish. Sekiro-ish. Okay, we destroyed another crystal. Mist generator. You don't have to do that again, that's good. Don't have to do that again, that's good. We just roll Fred Durst our way back to the save point heal whilst we're doing it. I still have loads of regular heals as well. Out of the way, you fool. Damn it. Whatever. Right. Uh, no, that's not what I want to press. I want to press this button to go over here. Speaking of, whenever I say the word mist generator, my mind immediately goes to a video game uh, that had that in it. I'll give you a little while to think about it. Think about what game I might be referring to that had a mist generator. <laughs> okay, good. We've survived. Uh, that game being, of course, Legend of Ligaia. You got the sharp incense, what does that do? Increases attack by 25% when HP is low. Okay, well, we don't want it right now because our HP is not low. It's just high. High as a kite. We will want that. I suppose. I'd rather not be at a low HP. I'd rather be at a high HP. All things considered. Let's go this way. Rolled into that guy's behind. And just tank our way through. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Use up all my healing incense. just to go back. That rubbery shrubbery is just to go back. Just to backtrack. Uh... I thought it was going to be another parry room. It's not. So yes, if you can recall in Legend of Ligaia, there was a mist generator, several of them in fact, and you had to break them to um, to progress in the game and, and save the world and all that good stuff. Man, what a good game that was. I, I really ought to play that game. Put that down in the uh, in my notes. Played the hell out of it. Perry, good. Perry, good. Then we level up. Fantastic. Let's go and save. 
at the uh, place with saves. There we go. Out of the way. Right. Okay, this bottom area is clear. Uh, and we've got the royal key, so now we can go wherever we want. Wherever we want, that's open by the royal key. Uh, we haven't gone to the right over there. I think, can I... Can I get over there by... I like that the map can just be held open. It's helpful. Can I go over there by going over here? And then over here? Have to watch out not to run into anybody. Over this way. What is stopping me? I feel like I've already been over here. Oh, you know what? No, this is where the drop-off is, isn't it? No, oh, it's it's this this okay, I couldn't get up there, that's why. We had to put the ghost right there on the on the ladder. It doesn't hurt you, it's just it's very close for comfort. I have no idea when those bugs attack you. I don't know what their attack is supposed to be. Uh, got this man. Get away from him. Oh god, the bastard. He just would, wouldn't he? You know what? Let's switch to a different sword. Why don't we do that? Let's use uh, the maple leaf. I want to use it. And then we'll just we'll switch when we need to have the extra air that the other sword uh, provides us. I really like the maple leaf. I like I like the uh, Momodora callback. Let's go to the library. And I feel like buying that one incense that heals you when you kill things. Uh, yeah, the Lotus Incense. I have just enough to buy it. Thanks. Now, is it a passive? It is a passive. Okay. Uh, I don't need the Spring Drop. I'll put the Lotus on. And now between the... Uh, spring Incense and the Lotus... Um, I, I will be healing a large amount... Uh, anywhere else that I need to be going. Up here is Ormu. I don't know if we were blocked by a door up here. I haven't found anything yet, have I? No. What did she say? You, you dress like a nun from Olive Day. Okay. I thought she said, you dress like that in this weather. <laughs> and I would say, yes. Yes, I do. I do walk around with my ass hanging out. What of it? I can't remember in Momodora if if Momodora ever had a uh, a Perry mechanic like that. I don't recall. I need to play that game on stream at some point to contextualise any of this that's going on. <laughs> Mr. Perry. Uh, have we not gone over here? There's a door or anything. I don't know what I'm really expecting over here. Okay, so I get 7 HP back when I attack them. Okay, I can go actually down here. I can go down here. Down here. That's not the door. That's not the door. Okay. Oh. 
Huh. Which deity is sourer? Alright, bow. She has tentacles. Okay, I cannot parry that. Uh, how am I meant to attack her? Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I will have to think about that. Hold on a minute. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, what if I just... Have I bought the incense? I have. Okay, okay, okay. So we're just back to normal then. So what's over here then? Oh, that's this area. Okay. Interesting. Odd. Can't go over there. We need to find something for... Olmu. Uh, so before we fight Saurer, I would like to complete that. I believe it's back the other way, maybe? Uh, we have other things that are openable now. Yeah, that entire area... Uh, I believe it's clear. There's a little bit down there that... I think it's just getting cut off by the map. Let me just go down slightly here. Okay, yeah, it is. It's just getting cut off by the... edge of the map on the bottom there. Uh, let's go this way. Just go through here. There's nothing in here. Nearly died to Shodelman. Okay. We have to smack him in the arse to let him know we're here. Oh. Need the other sword to get up here. There we go. Honestly, I like the move set of the the needle sword a lot more. I like it a lot better. Uh, oh, and can I get through here now that I've I've got the uh, key? No, it is still locked. Okay. I can run through the fire. I can also run in that man. That was very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. What happens if I go up here? Shodelman. Okay. I've not been over here, apparently. And we broke something. Okay. Good. We can unlock that. Uh, before we crush that, a new franchise is available. This path is blocked off, is it? How, how do you figure? How do you figure, Fran? The path is blocked off. What do you mean? I can go over there. Uh, I, sh I suppose I shall. Okay. Too early. Too early again. Not a threat. 
Got him. It's better to just wait and parry first. And then attack him for the remainder of the damage. Okay. Let's not get hit by the eggs. Okay, there's just a straight corridor. Level up and get ethereal incense. I like the sound of that. What does it do? Summons illusory dragon for a pre that sounds badass. Let's see here. Uh we'll swap out the white incense for that. Because I mean it's a feckin' ethereal dragon. I want that. That sounds really cool. <laughs> it's probably underwhelming, but I still want it. Damn, it's fast. Uh, let's heal. Let's try our incense. Okay. okay. Uh, so that didn't work as I thought it would. Got it. That's a really fast projectile. Okay. So it appears we could just drop down. Okay. Well, that's good, but it's not getting us to where we need to be in terms of getting Olmu some warm clothing. Uh, I could return some more. And now that I've saved, I feel a bit more comfortable doing that. Yeah, jump over this man. It's fine. Just roll through all of them. It's not worth it. Uh, over here. Heal. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we would need to go, uh, we can't go up, right, 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 we can't go up because we need to go the other way and break that brick or whatever. Here. Mine the Shodelman. Actually, touching their bodies hurts you less than getting hit by the Shodel. Which I suppose makes sense, but at the same time, you should just not get hurt by touching people. I just, I don't understand that. Right, so we can cut that. I'm not sure what good that will do me. Let's go over here. Uh, then here. Can we go through this door? It's locked. Okay. Alright. I know where we are. Got it. Over here. And what happens if we go down in this area here? I don't recall exactly what item I need. You need like oven mitts or something like that to, to give to Ormu, despite the fact she has no arms. Uh, go down here. It's over here. Oh, did I not explore over here because I died in some stupid way? Probably so. No, I did. I did come over here. Okay. I came over here. I don't know. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Okay. Uh, over here? No. Needs that key. Here? No, it's that key. I missed that key somehow. I don't know where it is. 
Äh, über hier? Oh, okay, I see. So you stand to get a lot of HP back if you... No, it's enemies defeated, it's not enemies attacked, so you don't actually get all that much HP back. Uh, have I not gone over here? No, I need that key, whatever that is. Here. Save for a bit. Uh, oh, pardon me. nothing over here. <clears throat> over here? Nope. He's that other bloody key. Alright. Okay. Okay. We just need that key. It's probably not something that I can get at this moment in time. Can't go over here. Oh. No. <laughs> um, I want to lose this charge. There we go. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Up here. Yeah, I don't know how do you get into that little area down there. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm going back to the beginning of the game. Because there's a way that you could go, that you could fall, fall down to. I didn't take that way. Uh, can I not get over here? Oh. Okay, bugger. Okay, never mind. I thought I could get up now with the extra height that the, the new sword affords you, but I can't. Okay, very well. Let's see. Well, maybe I just do have to just kill Saura, and that is what unlocks all Moo's quest line or something like that. Uh, riding the lift up here would not really get me anywhere in particular. It'd just be safer. Oh, right. And then this area over here was the place where I fought, uh, oh. Can I not? Can I not get up there? Can I jump on this? No. Can I jump up there? No. Can I jump up there? No. No. Okay. Uh, that is where I fought Sister Duar. And we went over here. 
force a bunch of enemies that are no longer here. Save. Uh, if I bounced, that wouldn't really do me any good. Uh, would it? Where does this lead me? Uh, it's a dead end, I believe. I, I think it's a dead end. And there's not a secret hidden wall over here? No? Okay. Up here? Yes. Okay. Over here. Through here. And then up here. I will say that traversal in this video game is very good. <laughs> it's very fast. Ow. You bugger. It's fine, we'll just save. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied. Let's go and fight Saura. I knocked my mic like an idiot. Now it's out of place. Uh, he's here. Okay. We're back on track. Everything's going good. Going well. We can cut this and fall down. Oh. I think I saw like a... I saw a special thing. I, I know what I saw. I'm pretty sure I saw something. Do forgive me. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go up here. Well, I leveled up. It's worth it, I suppose. Here. Okay. So when I cut this, I need to go to the right. I saw it. I think you saw it too. But, um, I don't know. I guess I'm too fat to get through there. I guess I need to be in a different mode or something. There's probably a cat mode. There always is in these games. Could have gone a lot worse, but it didn't. We'll save, we'll get all of our HP back. Uh, where is the enemy? Where is Saur? You're always pressing buttons in this game. You're always, like, I'm always rolling, I'm always, like, parrying. And it feels really good to do. So that's good. Good on the game. You, you want a game where you press buttons. And you don't get punished for it. Uh, we'll go to the save. I think I can just get to the boss area from the save here. Alright. Up here, up there, up the ladder. Uh, there's Ormu. I haven't picked up what you need, have I, love? No. I don't. I don't have whatever you need. Down here. And through here. Okay. I don't know why there's all these guys 
here. Maybe that's a Dark Souls thing. You know, remember in Dark Souls 3, there were all those guys that were prostating? <laughs> prost prost prostrating? Not prostating. In front of uh, the, the, the city or whatever. Okay. So there's the boss. I wonder if I can cheese her. Let's see here. Okay, so... What's my health at? It's max. That's good. Um... We'll keep healing on for the moment. Although... We won't need Lotus. We'll just put Sharp on right now. Because I'm I'm not going to defeat anyone. <clears throat> um, except the boss. So I'm not going to heal from that. We'll put Astral Incense on. Ethereal's fine. And then... Um, actually, I quite like Black Incense first. Because I have full health at the start and I can then switch to black incense fire those five off and then switch to the chrysanth incense so pop it okay I was meant to parry that uh, well now we need healing okay okay All right black's gone we need ethereal chrysanth is out we can take sword Out of storm, we'll put foul on. Heal. Cursed ourselves. I don't know what that does. I think it lowers your attack. I think that's all it does. It does. I, I believe it does. I wasn't, I wasn't really sure what she was doing there. She's just kind of sitting there farting. Okay. They've defeated the witch. Very good. I'm a deity slayer, apparently. There's just a deity hanging around out here. It's slain. This witch, something about her felt different. What was that? 
Ah, 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 it's you. I apologise for my absence. Thankfully, you two are very capable on your own. Would you like some berries? <laughs> non sequitur. They should restore your energy and ease some pain. Thank you. It'd definitely help. We eat the berries. Right. So, how's it taste? Surprisingly good. Where'd you find these? It's from my personal stash. We grow them in my hometown. Mm, I, oh, I see. Thank you again for them. Is this similar? Certain things have been on my mind recently. That woman from before, Devoir, what she told us, she... It... It... Bleh. Oh no. Treachery. Foolish women. He he he. No saints will protect you now. We are all equal in death. Uh, similar. 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 <laughs> Just a similar. Wake, please wake up. Oh, that's sweet. I don't know where we are. I don't know what happened. I shite myself. I want to get out of here, sister. Stay calm, sister Fran. Everything will be okay. We're here together. Um. There, there. Ever since we set out on this mission, I've felt an intense fear. A fear of failure. Constantly anxious of what awaited me. I'm not fit to carry the cross of the Inquisition. That is not the role for somebody like me. No, she's having a doubt. But it's not like I have a choice in the matter. I don't have a choice either. I have to play this game for the people on the internet and win. You don't? What do you mean? Could it be that you have no faith? Many Inquisitors wield their blades willingly, so to show devotion to the Saints, ready to die in the name of faith. But others are chosen. No, forced to fulfill this role as penance. I suppose you are the latter. But it doesn't matter. Should we refuse the mission given to us, we will be executed by the sacred office. Hmm. I will keep my composure. We are together. I don't know what to, I'd do if I didn't have a companion like you, Sister Semilo. Get a room. Get a room, you do. Now, to find a way out, there must be one. Wait, you're still carrying your sword? Where did you keep it? <laughs> hmm. Oh, <laughs> we can just break out of here anytime we wanted. It's hard to keep a wrecking machine like Sister Similar captured. Hey, down here, please help me. Please, I don't want to be a slave. It's locked. Well. You know, sometimes we don't get what we want. Ah, okay, cell's unlocked. Oh, <laughs> all right. Hello, look like you're from Final Fantasy fourteen. What's up? Thank you so much for rescuing me. My name's Camphor, you know. Like, the chemical. I'm Sister Anna Fran, and this is Sister Semela. Members uh, of the Inquisition. Pray tell, where are we? Some sort of prison, but I'm not sure where exactly. I've been locked down here for days. A woman, Fricker, I think, she imprisoned me and my family. She was planning to sell us as slaves. That's horrible. I haven't seen anyone else since I was brought here. And all I have in my possession is a key I found in this hole. A key? What do you think? It could be used to us. Can we see the key you speak of? 
Sure. Yeah. Mercy Settle B5F key. As a small inscription, Mercy Settle B5F. Maybe it will work in one of the locks here. I think it's worth taking a look around. Be careful. Frecker's band of thieves is still wandering around this area. And thank you to you again for saving me. I'm indebted to you. I suppose I should get going as well. Stay safe, Camphor. Bye. Sister Senna, please stay by my side. We will escape this dungeon. The princess needs us. Alright. Never said I wouldn't. Okay. Bust through here. Get some ashen incense. Very Dark Soulsian. What does that do? Uh, we can put our uh, Lotus incense back on. Yes, okay. Uh, ashen incense, what does it do? Releases a stream of energy. Okay, that's very descriptive. Let's go this way. It's unlocked. Uh, I don't know if that foliage down there will hurt me. Can assume it does. Just get out of its way. Uh, okay. Right. So those are the Medusa heads from Ataraxia. It's a word you don't hear every day. Odd incense. Okay. Emits a sound when near secrecy. Ooh. Daddy likes. Um, because I haven't played through the entire game, I shall... Um, I'll do that. Um, in a good way in terms of health. So I don't really need to um, worry about getting health back at this point. Whoa! Whoa! They go down easy enough. We've leveled up. I like the design decision of putting them all in, in bikinis. That's that's a good idea. Makes the game more interesting. Silver coin. Healing incense. More of that. Want to die. Okay, well, I, I helped you there. Are they mummified? What, what am I looking at here? The ghosts? Kill me? Sure. No problem. Okay, this is a dead end. Are the ladies back? They're not. Oh, there they are. <laughs> it's not exactly what I would expect them to make the sound uh, like. Suppose it works. Okay. Let's get a good look at them there. So they're wearing uh, thigh highs, a mini skirt, which is ah, a bit my lip, uh, which is more of really a pareo, and a bikini top that is way too small, and like a, a thief mask. So all in all, very cute. I like it. It's weird. Dangan games managed to be. At one and the same time, very sexy and very cute at the same time. They really strike a good balance there. Even a game like Shantae, Half Genie Hero, uh, doesn't really manage to do that all the time. 
It's the one game that I would think is sort of similar in, in that respect. Quite get up there. Where are we? Okay. Oh, another vessel. Let's touch it. You've gained the uppercut slash. Jump again midair to unleash a new melee. There. Oh, okay. So just this is a double jump and an attack at the same time. Has a huge range, humongous range. So now we can just equip whatever weapon we want, because I have more than enough to air air time to to get up to where I need to be. And she's got red shadows, which is really cool. There is a secret somewhere in this room. Oh, Grant. I probably could have found that on my own. So we can only do this once in the air. Okay. But you do have a limited bit of air control. Like I can swing backwards before I descend. Okay. Can land on that fire. Don't want to do that. Uh, another key. Very good. I don't know if those things hurt you or, or what. Okay, we're back here. Hello. <laughs> Almost died. Uh, okay, we just need to go to the right. These things absolutely hurt you. Yeah, as I suspected. Okay, those are creepy. Locked. We can't get through there. It's a shame. We did pick up a coin though. It's always welcome. All right. Let's take the lift. Honestly, really, I would get more HP back by using the Lotus, because I defeat enemies more than I heal, faster than I heal, I should say. Okay, that needs that key, whatever that key is. That needs that key, whatever that key is. I don't like having the key, the doors right next to the lifts here. I don't like that. It should give you a, l a little bit more room to maneuver. Okay, very video gamey. This. Like, this Garrett here should not hurt you. It, it, it's it's 100% in the background. As long as you didn't stick your head in the middle of the thing, it, it shouldn't hurt you at all. <laughs> so I don't really understand. Okay, we got more of those skull things. They're not a tremendous threat, so I'm not really concerned. Hard to see, though. The archive. Okay. 
This uppercut has incredible range. 90% of the screen is destroyed by, by doing that. The sounds these creatures make is absolutely horrifying. I'm quite impressed they were able to make something sound so so wretched like that. And it's really just a distortion effect. It's not really anything difficult that they did. The whole area here is very creepy. Yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt you. I guess it's just stuff. Can I go through here? No. Very dark souls, Ian. Can I go through here? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll probably have to parry this thing. Uh, we'll put Sharp back on. Uh, black and Chrysanth. Oh, I guess I can't. Harry? Okay. Well. Uh, where do I say, boy? Okay, I've got to go through this area again, have I? That's not too bad. That sister similar believes in spin to win. You know, she just wildly swings that thing around, she just whips it around, and uh, works out pretty well there. You bastard. Black and Chrysanth. Oh, and uh, Astral. Okay, missed all those shots. He ring black. Now let's try the Ashen Incense and the Storm. A little bit. Oh, that works really well. Okay, I cannot parry it. Do I have anything else left? I have the ethereal. Don't know why I say it like that. White. Spam all of your uh, magic and it just works out. Okay. That was a nice diversion.
Oh. <laughs> cool. That's a bug. It's a cool bug, though. I wish she would just... I, I wish she would just walk around with a sword out. It's kind of weird to see her just whip it out all of a sudden out of nowhere. Go back and save. All right. Okay. Uh, where do we need to go? Over in the other direction, I suppose. We get through here. We can. Good cycle. I must have hit my head on one of the Garrets. You can't be too close when you parry those bombs. Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't jump into the Gary there. Okay. or something? What the hell happened there? She was just a very tough enemy. B3F combination 1909. Got it. 1909. Remember that. Locked, stuck, jammed. I don't know why I keep checking the walls. Uh, I have odd incense on, so I'll be told when there's a secret. A super ladle? Is that an item? It is, thank God. It's useless. Absolutely rubbish. Leaf incense. Okay. What's that do? Cures poison. Okay. Which of course means that you're going to get poisoned in this area. <laughs> Even though um, I'm equipped with the super ladle, I still get the red uppercut shadow. Which suggests to me that I'm really... I should use the Blade of Judgment. God damn it. I have to do this entire area again. Get away from her. Now I'm rushing. Now I'm rushing and <clears throat> and dying. I shouldn't be doing that. See, the problem here is that she's so daft that she doesn't know I'm behind her. Come over here, you stupid git. There we go. Alright. Wait for the... What do you call these things? I, I forgot what you call them. It's not a scythe. Garrett's probably not what you're supposed to be calling it. Should 
she missed. It's good for me. Bad for her. Get out of the... Get out of there. Still 1909. Good year. Go down here. Get the ladle. Get the leaf incense. Try not kill yourself. Oh, right. Can't go that way. Right, I died to her, that's right. There we go. You shouldn't have to have done that. Okay, just nice and safe. I thought I could cut the uh, cord there, but I can't. You should just be able to cut the rope there. And, and and let it fall down all the way. You cut the other thing. Right, next floor. Can I go this way? No. You can save though. I can't go over there. Uh, before I go continue further on, can I get through the other two doors down here? With the keys that I have in my possession. Uh, I can. Excellent. Uh, let's save before I do that. This is very uh, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, okay. You cannot roll through that. By the way, in case you didn't know. Nope. Can't can't do it at all. Can I just uh, jump through it? Okay. Even though that makes less sense, you can do that. You're meant to do that. No, that'd be too easy. So you can't, can't open it from there. Can't open it from that side, can you? Uh, uh, uh. Right. Get some XP. That's fine. Uh. Some scorching incense. I will look at that in a moment. Uh, okay, what is it? Oh, it's a passive incense. Adds extra stun damage to your attacks. Oh, uh, I quite like that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Does it generate the maple leaf effect? Kind of looks like a maple leaf. Yeah, that's cool. Looks really cool. Okay, don't feckin' die. Jump over there. Jump like that. I, somehow I get hurt. Okay. 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 All fine. All right. I survived. You should be able to jump, uh, roll through those, but you can't. Loads of levels. Maybe they're just meant to dock. This is like Mario Brothers. Hello, what's this? A statue of a female figure. Four sockets exist at the base of the statue. Enter a combination. Nine. Teen. 
Oh, nine. Right. Okay, we can save. That's good. More of these guys. More of these m maces. What? I don't know. Very video gamey. Chain mace. That looks like an item that I can wield. It is <clears throat> chain mace. There's still the same amount of damage as everything else, except the super ladle, which is less than everything else. A powerful mace with a spiked ball attached to it. This sort of weapon was often associated with clerics and nuns, which I am. But for reasons not entirely unknown, it has fallen to disuse in favor of sword techniques. I like the uh, Chun Li style sticky ass out when you when you do it. I guess I am a cleric. That is cool. It's nice. I like being a cleric. Sometimes, when I'm not a wizard. Herring looks a little silly with it. Perhaps that's why they... fell out of this use. Oh! It has a different jump animation as well. I don't want to go down there. I wonder if I have to, though. Any items down here? No. I don't know. It's working pretty well. The last swing uh, gives gives you a little bit of uh, time of, of vulnerability. Um, I wonder if I can parry out of that. Hold on. So, you can. Okay. So, when she sticks her ass out like that, you can parry and cancel the recovery. Which is helpful. Can I go through here? Cannot. It's locked. Okay, well, that was a fun little area. Exciting adventure. We got a new weapon. And uh, we got an... We got a new... Uh, everything. Oh. Mercy cell B1F key. Alright. Door unlocked. That happened to be the door down here. What an odd little area. Okay, it is. No, she's poisoned. Just farting up a storm over there. Hot. Don't know. Um, it's a little odd to parry with with this thing. It shouldn't be because your parry animation is the same no matter what. I don't know. Maybe just the timing is weird. I don't know. Uh, let's try that again. God damn it. Okay, where am I? Where have I been? Uh, let's go through here again. Okay. All right. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. The fact that you sometimes have to go very far back when you die. I suppose it makes things a little bit more tense. And it is. It is more tense, in a way. The problem is, is that the game is very sedate. So... When you're playing it, you don't really think about, oh, you know, I'm going to die. You're not really afraid of that. At least I'm not. I should be. I think that's my fault. I'm not afraid. 
Another thing I'm having a problem with is parrying out of the first few hits of the mace. It has just a little bit too much recovery. Like when you start swinging it, if you're not really fast, you can sort of get stuck in the animation. Whereas the sword's a little bit faster. There really ought to be a trade-off. It should allow you to do more damage or something. As it stands now, there's really no reason to use the mace um, when you could use the sword. Since it's not any different in terms of damage. Back to where we started. Don't you know what? I'm just. I'm not even going to attack you. You can live your lives as you are. I don't need to attack you or you. Uh, jump down here real quickly. Save. Oh, you Torbo! Konnichiwa, gracias, sir. Thank you. Welcome, all three of you. <laughs> uh, we're playing Minora today. It's a game about nuns who don't wear pants. That may be interesting to some people. It is interesting, at least, to me. Let's take a lift up here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, why couldn't we go over here again? What was stopping me from going over here? these guys. It's locked. It's just locked for some reason. Okay. Very well. And as you can see, you Fred Durst your way over every single piece of drain. You're just Fred Dursting like crazy. Uh, oh, let me save right quickly. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, I missed those. It could have been deadly. Uh, why did I not go down here? I don't know. Got loads of XP for it. Alright. What does it say? The following have been judged guilty. Am I invincible when I read things? I, I, I am. Very good. The following have been judged guilty by the Sacred Officer's Inquisition and await execution the second eve of this month. Guillaume de Renilier, D. Pavel, Osniorg of Lycia, and Mirabel of Segovia. Segovia. A glowing incense. What is that? Unleash a fire explosion in front of the caster. Okay, so it's a fireball. Very well. Get down here. Uh, can't go through there. Silver coin. Lever. And another silver coin. Alright. And we're back to where we began. Very good. Uh, up we go. Save up here. Come on, way through there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Shite. <laughs> Accidentally pressed up. Fat fingered the button, even though I'm on, on a directional pad. Go up here. Save and uh, oh, it's a uh, camphor. Talk to her again. I'm pleased to see you both alive and well. Likewise, this place is full of danger. I'm still trying to find my way around, but I overheard an interesting conversation. 
Some of those thieves were talking about the cathedral, as if we are pretty close to it. More specifically, it seems we are underneath it? Question mark? Ah, I see. I haven't found my family yet. It's possible they aren't here any longer. I haven't seen any other prisoners either. Unfortunately, we also haven't seen much on the way here. What you just said though, about this dungeon being under the cathedral, we should look for a way back to the surface. I'm sure we can find it. I believe so too, Camphor. Me and Sister Semela are on an important mission. We cannot afford to die here. We don't know when to expect reinforcements, and the witch's power grows stronger by the minute. The princesses, no, all of Remesia depends on our best efforts. Sister Fran, save your worries. We will escape. Sigh, you're right. This is not the time for witnesses. So, towards the cathedral. I trust we should meet there. Okay. 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 Uh, anything else to say, me? We should be pretty close to the cathedral. Let's meet around here. Okay. Right. Unlock this door. Walk into a cutscene. At least the garden witch has been dealt with. Yes, by hands far more capable than yours. Those two nuns, they were useful. They sure were, weren't they, Olivier? You are completely worthless! Those very same religious maniacs are now running around here. And the damn witches are doing God knows what. This place won't stop shaking from their huge asses just farting around the place. Oh, hello. Ah, speak of the devil. You two, how did you... Shut your damn mouth, you useless imbecile. Damn. Shanked. Be careful, Sister Semela. What can I do for you lovely nuns? Keep your distance. We want nothing to do with you, murderer. We say as we've murdered thousands of people. How amusing. Your hands are just as dirty. Yeah, exactly. Watch your tongue. One such as you would not understand the divine mission. The divine mission, don't feign ignorance on me. With me. That's what she should have said. There's nothing pure about your mission. You know very well of what I talk about. It is all over these halls and you are the embodiment of it. Is this torture hell down here an example of your God's infinite purity? That's a sentence. That's a sentence and a half. N no, you don't understand. Don't despair, darling. We are just getting started. Okay. Oh, it's Fricka. Uh, okay, okay, we can't parry that. Um, okay. Okay, she has bombs. Okay. Ow. Okay, we shot all the fireballs we have at her. Uh, let's put on Astral and Cry Sand. Mister, damn. Okay, Cry Sand that's out. Uh, let's put on Storm and Ethereal. The problem with this ethereal thing is that I really can't see what she's doing. You bore me, sister. Uh, very good. Uh, one moment, please. Allow me to heal. It's very bad. Do not stand in there. Is this the best I can do? Yes, probably. Okay. 
that's out. Uh, let's use the glowing incense. Oh, okay. vanquished. She wasn't a witch, she was just a foe. We are a peacekeeper, apparently, according to the achievement. Sin comes with a price. For some, one too large a burden. How many more must I kill to pay that price? I don't know, maybe like 20. Fran says, no matter what, we are together. For now, let's consider our mission. Yes. Uh, we can open this door, I take it? Yes. Let's immediately save, because I don't want to have to do that boss fight again. Uh, what's over here? Monstars. Well, if you wanted to grind levels in the game, this is where you would do it. Right, very good. Is that really it? This is an entire room dedicated to just grinding levels. I've never seen that in a video game before, so blatantly. I've seen it in video games before, but not that blatantly. Uh, I take it we could just leave from up here. Bone dust incense. What's that? There is a bone. Okay, it's rubbish. Okay, thief's key. Uh, let's see, uh, before we go that way, let's explore over here where we opened. Forming. Okay. Wasn't too bad. lever over there, I take it. It's also locked. Damn. Okay, no worries. We just save our progress. Get all our health back. Uh, what is the point of that? <laughs> what, what is the point of this? That seems pointless. It seems very pointless. Bastard. Another silver coin. Haven't been to a library in a while. <laughs> Both in real life and in the game. I wonder how the princess is doing.
Okay. Unlock the thief key. And we are back out here. What was that creature? It's a bucko. No, this is, that is another reference to Momodora. Have we got the blood incense? Is that what we got? Blood incense is very metal. Temporarily increases the attack by 25% but consumes your HP. Fantastic. Love it. I will use that on every boss. Okay. The silver coin. Okay. Since we can drop down here. How would one accomplish that? How? How would I jump down? Maybe it's a one-way thing. You can't jump down. You can only... Oh, no, there we go. Crystalline incense. What does that do? Prevents the user from earning experience. That's horrible. Why would I ever want to do that? I guess if you really wanted to make the game difficult on yourself. What's going on? Plants everywhere. Does this mean the ceremony is almost complete? Uh, we've never been down here. It's very dark. Uh, it's a challenge room. very difficult to see what's going on. a bit manic. Just a little bit. Healing incense, more of that. a key or something no okay unlocked with thief's key let's just keep going doesn't it uh oh oh we're back here okay i understand i know where we are uh let's see here and we went over there missing anything oh i can go up um i have the double jump now so i can go over here up there there we go 
All the enemies have gotten much more tanky. Can go up here now. There we go. Get a coin. Another coin. Another coin. Okay. Lovely. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Um, been there all the way over there. We've been in there. I wish you could scroll the map. That's one thing that you cannot do with this game. Which, strangely, you could do with Lost Ruins. So I don't know why it couldn't be in this game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we haven't been to that one little part of the map that's not filled out. It's going to bother me. So we'll go over there. How do I get down there? I'm actually up too high. I need to go... Uh, let's go into the library. Let's see if they're selling anything different. Well, princess is gone. What's going on? If you're looking for the princess, she's no longer here. Something must have happened to her when I wasn't looking. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, well, that's not good. Uh, sturdy, a pure leaf. Kills everything. Um, none of these are particularly interesting. Alright, the princess has le left the uh, library. Which is n maybe not good? I don't know. Right, so over here. Unfortunately, what we'll have to do is go all the way over here. And uh, up this ladder here. Man, movement tech in this game feels so good. I'm, I'm honestly surprised this is not sped run more often. It, it definitely is a game that deserves to be speed, speed run, sped run. However you want to say that. Momodora is sped run all the time, so I don't see why this game couldn't be also sped run. Right. Go down here. Over here. Into this area over here. nothing. Great. So... We can go over here. Save. She's really not in here. She's really not in the library. Okay. It's all the same. Right? It, it's all the same. It is. Okay. Good. All the libraries in the game are at the same location. It's not like it's different libraries or something. I didn't know. Uh, we can go up here quite quickly. I'm getting cursed or silenced, but that's not a big deal. It's not a problem. Okay. Got that area over there. This area over here. And now the only other thing I want to check is that area down there. The, the drop offs.
Go down here. Save. Save, why not? Uh, I need to go down... Down once more. Down Oh, truly, I can't go through this way. I'd have to go all the way around, would I? Uh, okay, well, I guess that's informing me of where I'm meant to be going. So, I think what I'll do, since we're coming up on two hours, I, um... Bastard. Bastard. Bastard! You absolute bastard. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I probably saved somewhere that was, is suitable. Yes. I just saved right up here. Okay, very well. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. We can get a look at the uh, gams on this lady. Uh, right. Uh, we've got um, some archives to read. So we shall. Uh, this is all the same. That's all the same. Uh, that is relatively the same. Uh, arena is the same, the set is the same, Devoir is the same, Olmu is the same. Olivia Pin, okay. What's, uh, what's all he about? A simple peasant of very little worth. Olivia is an ally of Fricka and her band of thieves. He excels at befriending unsuspecting travellers, only to fool them and loot their corpses later. Not much is known about his past, but not many would care for such records either. His history is that of a faceless, nameless grunt, hired as a tool to profit from others. In the end, the filthy rat will be left to rot in the hallways of the tortured. An empty future for an empty man. Brutal. And Fricka, she's 27. She's ancient. An untrustworthy woman in charge of a small band of rogues. Infamous for her mischievous behaviour, Fricka is wanted a criminal with a price on her head. Guilty of harlotry, thievery, arson and heresy she and the underlings are united together by their similar fates as outlaws leading criminal lives in big burgs even among her subordinates few know of a past when an incident brought great misery to her home at a small settlement the village's water supplied by the sacred office had been poisoned as a warning to the resident witches many innocents perished including children fricker was among the survivors left without family and without a home so, Inquisition, Church, still ruining people's lives. That's basically all there is to it. Catfall's age 15, that's very uncomfortable. A kobold? Really? A kobold? She looks like a cat. Not a kobold, but whatever. A kobold found at an underground cell, victim of the slave trade conducted by a group of thieves. Alongside other kobolds, her goal is to see her family free from the hunts conducted by humans. The kobolds, due to their appearance, are frequently treated with prejudice, mocked or abused. They mostly live secluded, though some face the risk by going to human cities in search of a better life. Uh, we know about Remesia and Oromir and Olavide. Right. Yes. Uh, Hildreth Cathedral? Uh, yes, we know about that. The Mercy Cellar, we don't know about this. Underground chambers where the sacred offices Inquisition tortured witches and heretics. As of the Fourth Witch War, these chambers have been left mostly deserted. The usual sisters who take care of it have been sent to the front lines to combat the increasing threat of the witches. Left abandoned, the Mercy Cellar has been taken over by a band of thieves. An odd decision, if you think about it, that would be like so like think about like your local police force right and the local jail let's say that your city for whatever reason got into a war 
and all the police abandoned the police station. And then thieves went in and broke into the police station, into the actual jail, where they would have been anyway. I mean, like, what if the police came back? I, I, I don't know. It just seems weird. Uh, we know about the sacred office. The saints? What about them? The saints of the sacred office are the devouts who have transcended their humanity. They live in direct contact with the gods and his eminent grace. As such, the church has made icons out of them to inspire the people of Remesia. But in reality, the saints live a life of hypocrisy, bathing in riches, engaging in secret orgies. Yep. The natural deities. These deities, unlike the gods of the sacred officers canon law, are beings beyond human senses, whose true form belongs to different planes of reality. A temporary physical manifestation of them has been brought into the world through Pomo's ceremony. Oh, okay. So that's why I could kill Saura. Uh, she's a nature deity, but she was manifested in the physical form. But I assume it doesn't really do anything when I kill them. They still exist, they just lost the physical body. Which is one. The denomination witch and all the stigma associated with it was an invention of the sacred office to demonize those considered heretics. The origin of witchcraft as a sin can be traced to a few centuries back when the first ceremonies were conducted by the one called the Arch Witch. Wait a minute. That's the same name as the Arch Witch and no better. No god, it's all coming together. At the time, her purposes were unknown, and for that very reason, she was considered a threat to the church's authority, exactly like in Nobetta. Witches 2. The persecution of witches was officialized through an edict prohibiting any association or use of the archwitch's sorcery or artifacts. Those standing against the sacred officer's self-proclaimed benevolent and divine faith were also targeted. Furthermore, the sacred office worked extensively to fabricate stories about the witches, hoping to create a social imaginary uh, disgust for them. Um, ignore that sentence. Naturally, this situation only stirred curiosity in the common man, leading to an increasing interest in heresy. Oh, shite! <laughs> it's all backfired. Uh, in truth, the Archwitch and by association her followers share a common goal of living freely in harmony with nature and safekeeping it. Disgusting! Burn them! The absolutely disgusting hippies. Okay. Well, that was fun. That was the uh, records that we picked up so far. We'll return to the title then. And uh, we'll call it a day. Or a night. Or an evening. Or an afternoon. Depending on where you are. Uh, Yoritoma, thank you as always for dropping by and uh, uh, raid. I always appreciate that. Gracias, my friend. Uh, that was Menorah. Uh, that was part two. Uh, I did a lot of backtracking and uh, getting lost, but uh, in the end, we actually made a tremendous amount of progress. I almost feel as if we're nearing endgame, which is scary, since I've only been playing this for about three hours. I don't recall if this was a, a short game or not on Steam. I don't mind it being short. That's all right with me. Um... It's a nice little breather, nice little refresher between doing other things. So, and it's a relaxing game. It's one of those games that you can just kind of sit down and play and it just feels good to play. And it doesn't really matter like if you make any progress or not. It's just nice to play. And that it's so short is not really a, a detriment in this case. But in any case, uh, thank you very much for dropping by. Uh, I've been a wizard. This has been a video game. Thank you very much for watching. This will go up on YouTube momentarily. And uh, do drop by on Sunday uh, where we'll be having some more Shadowverse and uh, some other things possibly. So, right. Uh, until then, have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.